Hello and welcome to this session. In this session we will see LM35 analog temperature sensor. So this is very uh, basic and popular sensor and the reason is it's very affordable and has very minimal connections. Also this temperature sensor gives output directly in degree centigrade. So in this experiment we will display the temperature values read from uh, read from this LM35 and display it on our LCD screen. The same experiment can be uh, slightly modified for any other analog sensors or can be further modified to serve as Internet of Things. We have, uh, okay, so let's get into the data sheet of LM35 which I have opened here. You can see the straightaway features. It says it's uh, calibrated in degree centigrade and <coughs> It's a linear nature, 10 millivolts per degree centigrade. Suppose a temperature raised from 30 to 33 degree, that means there will be a 30 millivolts change in uh, analog temperature, analog voltage. And the range is quite good, minus 55 to 150 degree centigrade. And also the operating voltage is quite good, 4 volts to 30 volts. Anyway, we will not get into uh, the complete data sheet all we need to know is read the values read the number of samples received from uh, LM35 convert it into uh, voltage and hence can get the output in temperature degree centigrade so if you want if you're interested in data sheet which you should be because it's a very good practice to go through a data sheet before assembling any hardware you may visit this page uh, ti.com stroke lit stroke ds stroke simlink stroke lm35.pdf or you simply search in your search engine and you will get probably in the first result lm35 data sheet so let's move further and let's come to this uh, arduino ide okay so here in the live feed you can see okay we will discuss about this uh, market markets 5 volts and 1024 but before that you can see the LM35 is connected right here with right right probe connected to ground and left probe connected to VCC through this red wire and the center wire is connected to A0 so this is same this is in line with our um, fridging circuit which you have seen right here Fine, so this bit of explanation you might be interested. So any microcontroller is a digital device. It cannot understand analog voltages at all. All it understands is zero and five volts. Five means one, zero means zero logic. <coughs> but LM35 is a temperature sensor. As you know, uh, the Atmega 328IC, which is this used in Arduino, has inbuilt analog to digital converter that means this IC can handle analog voltages yes, this much you already know so coming to the scale you can see uh, the analog to digital converter inside uh, microcontroller is this portion and this is the analog voltage provided by LM35 so let me give separate colors to both of them so that we can easily So let me give yellow for LM35 and green for digital voltage which we have already given. So any change in voltage, any change in analog voltage in LM35, in LM35, any change in analog voltage will be either the range 0 to 5 volts because we are giving a reference voltage of 5 volts through this wire you can see so the maximum voltage it can read or it can send send to uh, Arduino is 5 volts and minimum it can send is 0 volts and the analog to digital converter inside uh, Arduino the peripheral somewhere inside microcontroller can sample it to 0 to 1024 you may ask me why 1024 because as you know this Arduino Atmega 328 uh, microcontroller is 10-bit ADC 
तो टेन बिट मीन्स टेन सॉरी टेन बिट इज टू रेस्ट टू बॉट टेन विच इज़ वन जीरो टू फोर सैम्पल्स एज यू नो टेन बिट्स कैन मीन्स टेन टाइम्स वन इन बाइनरी एंड जीरो मीन्स टेन टाइम्स जीरो इन बाइनरी सो एनी वैल्यू इन इन बिटवीन का रिस्पॉन्ड टू रेस्पेक्टिव वोल्टेज रेड फ्रॉम द एल एम थर्टी फाइव सो लेट्स गो थ्रू दिस वंस अगेन तो सपोज आवर टेम्परेचर वैल्यू टेम्परेचर सेंसर रीड्स अ वैल्यू and that value corresponds to some uh say that value corresponds to 1 volts so it will be somewhere here in analog scale the analog to digital converter here inside microcontroller will convert this 10 sorry this uh 30 degree centigrade to equivalent sorry this 1 volt to say some 30 samples 30 samples in Uh, digital so out of 1024 samples say 30 or 35 corresponds to 1 volt or maybe maybe 1 volt will be some somewhere around 200 of course because if you calibrate likewise it will be around 200 similarly a uh, 2.5 volt somewhere here will correspond to 512 samples likewise so the digital samples are uh, linearly correspond to analog samples now coming to programming um, so let me keep this live feed ready and let me clear few markers okay so we need not need any reference now so i have already kept the template ready so this template for lcd you already know no need to explain again and for this analog read we do not we we don't need any external library so this liquid crystal is good enough and for void setup here the analog pin a0 which is here a0 is configured as input because we are reading value and the lcd dot begin you already know we are initializing the lcd in the setup function So in the void function, which is an infinite loop, what we will do, we will take a uh, uh, we will read the values. First of all, analog read a zero. So this will read directly the values coming from LM thirty five. So these values we have to store somewhere. So let me put it in. A variable float samples. So why samples? Because Arduino will internally convert this analog read data into number of samples. As you know, the sample from zero to one zero two four, ten bit ADC. So this ten bit ADC samples. So let me write it down. It will be easy to understand. So each digital sample. We know. that maximum it can go up to 5 volts so each digital sample could be uh 5 volts divided by 1024 volts do you agree this so it's as simple as that so 5 volts is the maximum analog voltage and 1024 is maximum digital uh number of samples So five volt value will be converted into one zero two four in digital. Five volt is analog. One zero two four is digital binary. So we want to know how many, how much voltage is there in each sample. So we have total one zero two four sample. So each digital sample has five volts divided by one zero two four volts, and this will be in some uh, milli volts. So let's find it programmatically. so let us name that variable as say float analog voltage of say samples so this equals to samples which we already read into 5 divided by 1024 okay so semicolon i hope you understood this part we will come back again at the end of this uh, during revision at the end of the session 
fine so also so this voltage analog this variable what does it has analog voltage of samples so before that let let me do one more thing so let me comment this also and let us <coughs> lcd dot uh, set cursor 0 comma 0 and lcd dot print samples so i want to show you that how this looks when uh, we just print the samples so you can see it's around 62 degree okay so let me put some delay why we need a delay okay so i hope most of you have figured out because this void loop this infinite loop is very fast it iterates very fast so the screen uh, it says flickering right so we'll put one second delay so thousand second is one second delay and let's upload this program now you won't find it uh, flickering but i think Is the value here? Let me do it and show it to you. I hope it's better. So, what is this 62? So, 62 is out of 1024. If you remember that scale which we have, uh, which I have shown you earlier, we have a digital scale of 0 to 1024 corresponding to 0 to 5 volts of analog input. And this 62 or 63, whatever value we are getting, is the number of uh, digital samples corresponding to analog input okay so what would be the minimum samples you would have got zero samples and what would be the maximum it will be 1024 because it's a 10 bit adc right so 63 is uh, a very less analog voltage you can say the temperature value sensing is uh, sensing some low voltage you can say but this is not actually the voltage we have to convert it so fine so this printed the samples but we are not interested in samples we are interested in so let me uncomment this and print this analog voltage of samples okay control u to upload fine so it shows 0.30 so 0 0.30 as you can guess is uh, if you multiply it by 100 it will become 30 and 30 seems to be reasonable temperature yes it's hot hot in here because i have to turn off my fan and ac but that's how it works it's 30 degree of my present room temperature so how to convert it coming back here uh, Let me write a small comment. So we know each 10 millivolts and the 10 millivolts we can write 0 0.01 volts, right? Given by LM35 is change in 1 degree centigrade, correct? So how many such degree centigrade? we have in our given voltage by get from lm35 right okay so for this we have a simple solution so let me define a new variable of float type <coughs> float temperature equals to uh, we have our analog voltage of samples divided by 0 0.01 is this clear if not it's very simple because this analog voltage of samples are in uh, voltage scale we have to convert our millivolts into volts that is 0 
So actually what we are trying to find here is how many such degree centigrade means how many such 10 millivolts are available in our given uh, point 30. So point 31 is actually the uh, voltage we read after converting the digital samples into uh, equivalent voltage. So we, we want to know how many such 10 millivolts samples can be accommodated within this. So analog voltage of samples uh, divided by 0 0.01. So this will give us the temperature value and I accidentally kept it here. So after this statement we will set the cursor and print control U and it's okay I, I have to change this to temperature so it gives 30.2627 etc reading every second let me further modify lct dot set cursor uh, let me make sec seventh column and I will just print here degree centigrade just to make it more appealing lct dot print okay control u to upload So 30.27 degree centigrade. So this is uh, converting LM35 analog output into digital and then displaying on LCD screen. I hope you understood the program and the logic. Uh, if not, we will do a quick revise. So let me show you how this temperature works. I like to play with it always and let me hold it tight and you can see there will be a sudden rise in temperature. So it has changed from 30 to 32 point oh once it went to 35 hey so it is becoming normal now it will drop till 30 I guess 30 point something anyway we'll play it later play with it later let's get into program once again how it works and what is this <coughs> I hope need not to uh, explain this liquid crystal because this we have repeated several times setup we are setting up analog input as a0 LCD dot begin is 16 cross 2 format number of samples as you know there are total 1024 samples digital samples converted from any analog input because we have 10 bit ADC in at mega328 so Arduino supports 10 bit resolution of ADC what is a 10 bit resolution any sample any analog sample will be displayed with 1024 samples in digital suppose you have 0 volt as analog input you will get 0 as the digital output if you have 5 volts as analog input you will get 1024 as digital output so it's just one to one mapping which we have seen earlier in this video so here we have calculated number of samples we collected number of samples so each digital sample has 5 volt divided by 1024 volts so we are actually trying to find out what is the voltage equivalent of samples received okay because we know 5 volts corresponds to 1024 so how many volts corresponds to our number of samples if you remember we received something like 60 here right so that voltage is analog volt of samples okay so name is also familiar analog voltage of samples is something came 0.31 also we know that 0 0.31 volts is the total number of uh, temperature actually because we know 10 millivolt of change in temperature corresponds to each degree change that's why uh, we have to divide it with 0 0.01 what is 0 0.01 it's a voltage itself so 10 millivolt is actually 0 
zero one volts okay so how many such 10 millivolts are there in our analog samples analog voltage that we have to just divide it by 10 millivolts and we'll get the temperature so this temperature is nothing but number of um, such 10 millivolts in our given sample then it's everything simple set cursor to zero column zero row print the temperature set cursor to seventh column zero row. print degree centigrade give a thousand millisecond delay i hope you understood this tutorial if not feel free to discuss on forums see you in the next video bye